Hi there, welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today's video is going to be my monthly haul for March. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. This video is going to be a quick little haul of all of the bits that I have been buying in recent weeks. It's my monthly haul for March. And apart from the new SS and Catrice stuff, the only thing I did was travel to Germany for a day. So most of what I'm about to show you are the things that I bought when I was in Germany. In case you're new here, you've never been to the channel. Hi, my name is Maika. I live in the Netherlands. I have fair skin with a cool to neutral undertone and this greatly influences my makeup preferences. I have been reviewing makeup for more than a decade. I love eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice and getting the use out of my makeup. So if that's something you're interested in, then I hope you'd like to consider subscribing. Before we get into the stuff I bought while I was in Germany, I do have to tell you a little bit about some products that I did buy, but because I already filmed with them, I'm not gonna go over each and every single thing I bought. What am I talking about? It's the new Essence and Catrice stuff, because at the end of January and within the month of February, we got the new Essence and Catrice drops here in Europe. I didn't manage to get all of the shades of all of the lip products, it seemed, so when I was in Germany, I did manage to find the last shade I still needed from the Catrice new Shine Bomb line. So this is my placeholder for all of these new Essence and Catrice things, but I will just make sure to link you to these two videos that I've already done with all of the new bits that I did have in and the first impression review in the description box down below. So please go to those videos if you would like to see what's new from Essence and Catrice. But this way, <laughs> I can let you know, I now have all these shades, so I can finally film the video. I'm still looking for two shades from the Melt and Shine lipsticks. Couldn't find those in Germany anywhere. Like, they didn't have them in store, which is weird, because we do have them in store. Um, they were just out of the two shades I'm still missing. And I do have all of the shades, I think, of the new Essence lipsticks, so. Those are still videos I'm going to do later this month. There are going to be four videos in total that I'm going to do as follow-ups, which is a uh, Catrice eyeshadow palette review video because they've released some new eyeshadow palettes that look very similar to old ones. So I want to do the comparison, like do the looks for you on camera. And I want to do videos with all three of the new lipstick lines. So I'm going to do one video with the Shine Bombs, one video with the Catrice Melt and Shine, and one video with the Essence slim stick lipsticks they are called and i will be doing loads of reviews over on the blog in the meantime with the new essence skin tint and there are some really cool blushes that are out the essence drop this time round was chef's kiss like they did a really good job and i'm super excited to try those those products a little bit more and i will of course come on here in a couple of months time when i've tried all of these products I think it's gonna be like end of April, early May that I can do that video for you, where I'm gonna give you all of my thoughts as a roundup of these new SS and Catrice products, because that's something I like to do. After I've tried everything, I do a bit of a summary video as well, so you can look forward to that. So if you are not a follower of my second channel, which is Floating in Books, the, the link is always in the description box in case you wanna know. I started it as a bookish channel, but it's changed into fashion and lifestyle a little bit as well. So anything that's not makeup related, I tend to throw over on that channel for sure. And something that I have been liking to do over on that channel is to take you along for the ride whenever I'm traveling or if I have a bit of time off. And just recently I had spring break, so I vlogged my spring break and I went to Dusseldorf for the day. Now, it was a little bit early because one of you actually mentioned in the comments that uh, Germany is going to get house labs very, very soon in Sephora. However, that's from like early March onwards and it was still February. So I kind of missed out on that, but I will be doing enough traveling in the upcoming months that I will be able to find house labs somewhere in Europe because I've got a couple of trips coming up already. Um, but yeah, I didn't just buy makeup and uh, like body care and hair care related things. I also got some fashion items and uh, I didn't manage to show that on my other channel. So I was like, I'll throw it in here. I didn't buy much because I'm pretty much set when it comes to fashion items, but I got a t-shirt. <laughs> this is a men's t-shirt from Uniqlo. And I was looking for a like mustardy warm yellow 
And then I found this and I was like, this is going to be perfect for me um, because I used to own a t-shirt that, that was really close to this shade, but I didn't like the neckline on it and it had a hole. So I decluttered it last year and I have been on the hunt for a mustard yellow or at least like a yellow t-shirt that could fill the gap. And I have a couple of unique low t-shirts already, which have held up really, really well. And this feels like a really sturdy 100% cotton t-shirt and it was only 15 euros. So I was like, that's exactly what I need. So I was like, yes, that's exactly what I need. And I got myself a mustard yellow t-shirt. This next purchase is a little bit naughty. I know it's only like very, very early March as you're watching this. I'm recording this in February, but um, you can't buy sandals early enough, especially if you find them in your size, in the variety you, you like. I got myself some Birkenstocks. I have been eyeing these up online actually i saw them on tiktok and i was like oh, those are going to be perfect i already have two pairs of birkenstocks i'm not gonna lie um, but they are comfy and last year when i went to london it was like the only pair of shoes i wore for most of the week because they were the comfiest thing and i was like you know what i have like the one strap and i have the two strap but i want something that's perhaps a little bit more classy like a little bit more sandal like rather than like your your standard like slide on kind of thing so that's why i got these they are what are they called again um they are the um mayari in the tobacco brown shade this is what they look like they they just have a little bit of a toe detail which i really enjoyed and they have thinner straps um, I've got pretty high insteps and I have found on the regular two strap sort of sandal that they kind of dig into my foot a little too much here. Plus the ones I have are in the suede, um, but these are in the leather and they will hopefully just have a little bit of give uh, because I feel that now that I have broken in my other ones, they are like super comfy and I really like them. So I know I can get a lot of use out of these in the summertime and I like this neutral shade. In the tobacco brown, it's like a taupey number, so it just goes with everything, and it's a really good neutral to have. So I was really glad that I was able to find these in my size, in the shade I was looking for, so that's why I picked these up. These are all of the beauty products I shopped. So I got some makeup from Sephora, uh, and then I got a load of beauty products from Dayem, which is a German drugstore. Um, and these are the bits that I got. So I already showed you this, the Shine Bomb from Catrice. That's a day M purchase. Let me start there because um, that's, I think, the most interesting. Um, I got only one skincare product because I'm really good with skincare so far. But if you've been following, then you know that when I was in Paris last month, was it last month? Yeah, January. It was like almost two months ago, though. Um, but I, f I found some cleansers from La Roche-Posay because my favorite cleanser from the body shop has been discontinued. I have, I seem to have found a similar product at the AM. This is the Balea, um, uh, foaming face wash with aloe vera. And, um, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's exactly what the, <laughs> what the body shop one had as well. Uh, the packaging looks the same. So I think I have found it that this was only a euro and 95 cents. So I was like, you know what? I might as well try it. If I don't like it, I'm good. If it's a dupe, then this is the one I'm going to be buying moving forward. So this is, um, this is a, I hope a great find, but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to have found that. So a thing that Germany is known for doing a lot cheaper than it is here are razors, which are really, really expensive where I live. This was still like 15 euros, but it's a six pack, which I think over here, a three pack is like 15 euros of this brand. These are the Wink Wilkinson Intuition Complete, which is the razor I always use. At least it looks the same like the one I use. Um, so I'm gonna use this one for sure uh, because I'm all out of razors. Um, then the last time I went to Germany over the summertime, I picked up some of their uh, uh, body wash and I really, really like it. I've used ones or t one or t two of them by now, um, and I really do like them. Um, but they have some other, like more like wintry kind of scents as well, and they were out of those when I went to Oberhausen over the summertime. So this is plum and almond, I think. 
Uh, yeah, that's also what the image says at the front with macadamia oil. And then they have this berry and lavender scent, which both of them I think I like. I still have some of the other ones that I picked up over the summertime, so I don't need that much because I still have a bunch of the tea tree ones that I picked up in England as well, and I still have some of the body shop stuff, so I'm good for body wash. So I just picked up two new scents to try to see how much I like them. Got a dry shampoo because they do really affordable dry shampoo at the German drugstore. Um, I really like the one I'm currently using and I'm almost out of it. So I was like, might as well just buy a backup. This is not the one I was using though, because they were out of this, but this is the six in one dry shampoo. Uh, it should clean, freshen up, give texture and grip give volume, also be a heat protector, and it should have a UV filter. I thought that was interesting, so I just picked up one that sounded okay. I hope it's, I hope it's okay. I did get a makeup related thing because I have been looking left, right, and center for a powder puff because everyone on TikTok uses one of these things. This one is by Real Techniques. Um, this has two sides, one for powder and one for liquid, it says. Um, I'll just, I'll just give it a, give it a whirl. Um, let's see if I like this better than a brush. We'll see how it goes. And then I just got hair care stuff because I'm almost out of shampoo and conditioner. And I was like, might as well try that. But I usually buy stuff from Lush, which is like 30 euros for a bottle of shampoo, which I only wash my hair once a week. So I kind of feel not too bad about it because I buy shampoo like once or twice a year because of that. But I was like, if I can do it cheaper, I might as well try it. So I'm also almost out of hair oil. I was like, might try the one from Balea. So this is their um, hair oil without silicones, it says. I don't know, I've never tried it, but it was affordable and it seemed okay. And then they do a line that I've heard is like an Olaplex dupe. So I got the shampoo, the Plex Care, and then I got two of the conditioners because I tend to go through conditioner a lot quicker than I do shampoo uh, because I use two shampoos. So I do just a little bit of shampoo to clean my hair. Um, and this is the uh, conditioner from that line. So I was like, might as well try it. And these were like, what are you like 250 a pop? They were like super affordable. And apparently this is an Olaplex dupe, like I said. And then I always use a um, silver shampoo to maintain my blonde hair and not have it go too brassy. And then I saw that they also do a purple shampoo there. So I was like, might as well try this one. I always use the Lush one, but again, I've only started using the Lush one just recently. So I know I'm like pretty good on that, but at least I'll have one in stock and I can try some German hair care stuff. And that brings me to the Sephora bits, which are all really small, but because they were expensive, you, you know how this goes. <laughs> the cheapest thing I got were some Invisibobbles in the um, regular size in the clear, because that's the one I always use. And the one I'm currently using is like, it's completely stretched out and I only have one left. And I always like to have one for the gym and one at home and one in my work bag. So um, I'm almost out. So that's why I needed to restock and there's three in them. So I can start using that. Then I bought backups. Well, backups, I bought products so I can have them in my collection without having to buy the full size <laughs> because I do not need a full size of the Milk Hydro Grip anytime. This is my favorite primer, but I have so many other primers that I need to use up before I can ever go to this. But because Essence and also ELF have like dupes for this and the Essence one was released just recently, I would like to film a short where I can combine, like I can compare all three. Um, so I was like, I need to have the Milk Hydro Grip, but I'm not gonna buy a full size because it can go back really quickly. And this way I'll have a really good primer for travel, which I thought was a, Two, like killing two birds with one stone, you could say. And then I have had the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Fl Fl Flawless Filter in the shade Too Fair for a while. I've decluttered it last year and then I gave it to a friend and I had to ask for it back because Catrice came out <laughs> with a dupe. 
Elf has a dupe. Catrice has a dupe. Now Essence has a dupe. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy a mini version so that way I can have a fresh one, give the big one to a friend or whoever wants it. Um, and this way I have a fresh version for myself that I can use to film videos with because everyone and their mother is duping this product. And this way I, I'm not stuck with a huge, huge product, even though I like this. I like this just fine. I just prefer the Catrice one. In fact, I think I want to buy a backup of the Catrice one just in case they discontinue it. I'm, I'm that terrible. I know, I know, I know. Then I spotted some minis of the Kayali perfumes. These are still pretty expensive, like it's 30 euros for a small bottle like this. But since I love the pistachio yum gelato, yum pistachio gelato one that came out over the summertime, and I have that one in a full size, I was like, hmm, I'd like to try some more Kayali. And I've heard great things about the Vanilla 28. So I was like, I'm just gonna try it, see if I like it. So this is the Vanilla 28, which has Vanilla Orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, uh, Amber Woods, and Musk. I'm not sure whether this is going to be too sweet for me because I don't love things that are too sweet. But because this has the amber and the musk, I think it's going to be enough to break through the brown sugar and the vanilla and the tonka bean one uh, notes that this has. So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I haven't tried it. I didn't even smell it. But I was like, you know what? I really like the other Kayali one I have. And... This mini, I mean, it's great for travel, even if I don't love it for every day, it's gonna be a great travel perfume for sure. And then makeup wise, I got the uh, new blush from REM Beauty. Those were in stock and they had this really beautiful, rosy mauve tone that I couldn't say no to. Did I need this? No, but I wanted to try the formula. The formula swatched beautifully and this is the shade Rose on Mars in the Hypernova Satin Matte Blush. And let me let me just show you this thing because it's she's stunning. I haven't even unwrapped these after ever since getting them home. This is what the packaging looks like. And of course they have that really beautiful, incredibly bright pink and bright orange. But this shade just spoke to me. It just does. I keep buying shades like this, but I just love them on myself. And the formula seemed very rich and creamy, but without it being too overly done. So that's always what I prefer with a blush. So yeah, but we'll see how this one goes. Um, I have tried a couple of REM Beauty products and so far what I've tried, I've really enjoyed. I remember when this line became available for the first time. There were a lot of comments from people saying how they didn't like it and it felt a little bit cheap. But for Sephora, REM Beauty is still one of the more affordable lines and they do some nice things. I do really enjoy what they have to offer and I feel it's getting more and more appealing as time goes on. Like the initial launch I thought was a bit lacking, but this looks really pretty. So very promising indeed. And then I got two products that were on my wish list. There's no surprise there because I'm really trying to try some more concealers for you. I really had a focus on trying some foundations in 2023. And at this moment, I'm very much into trying concealers. So I got some concealers last time. I got the Gucci and the Natasha Denona. And one that I still wanted to try was the new YSL All Hours. This one I couldn't find my shade in when I was in France. Um, this one I could have picked up here as well. They do this over here too. But very often in my country, the shades aren't available. Um, I ended up going for LC1, which is one of the lightest shades they do. But everything was so yellow. And this was the one that still like swatching it looked pretty okay for me. This comes with a bunch of product. Let me see how much you get. Like this is 15 milliliters of product. I think that's even more than the Dior, the Forever uh, Skin Corrector. It's more than that, I think. Um, and this, it seems to have such a stunning formula, which is why I wanted to try it. And this could be like my new Dior sort of more luxury pick as well. Um, it does lean very yellow toned, which with concealers, I don't mind, but it was a very weird shade range, I have to say. So 
finally found a tester that seemed like it was blending away into my skin. So I'm going to go for that one. But the one I'm super excited for, because it came in a pink tone, is the new Fenty Beauty Were Even Hydrating Concealer. And we, I've tried some Fenty Beauty base products in the past. I've tried their under eye brightener in the past as well. And can I get this out? Is there a sticker? There's a sticker. Oh no. Oh yeah, it opens here. Um, and when they launched this, I wasn't initially gonna, like I wasn't initially super, super enthusiastic for it. And then I swatched it in store. This seems to have a very beautiful formula. It has coverage, but it's also hydrating. It's got a little bit of glow. It's almost like the Glossier Stretch Concealer has like has more coverage, but it's still as hydrating. I got it in shade 150N. And I think 140N could have worked for me as well, but they were out of that. But this looked so pinky toned. It's so pink. Like, let, hold on. Hold on. Because you're not going to believe me that this is a pink. Like, this is yellow. And this is pink. I I was very, very stoked to see them do a shade this pink leaning. And it blended away beautifully on the back of my hand. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try the Fenty Beauty. The formula seems to be right up my street. And yeah, I just, I think I'm going to like it a lot. So this is going to be part of my concealer trial. I now need to stop buying concealers because I still have a couple that I haven't reviewed yet that I already bought earlier on, like the Milk Makeup one um, that they came out with last year. I bought that last year when it was new and then I just completely forgot I owned it and didn't review it. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing that one next and then I need to review the Gucci and Natasha Nona. And then I need to review these. So uh, yeah, I do sometime this spring want to do a concealer roundup. And then these two are going to be part of that review for sure. So. so those are all the bits that I bought when I went shopping in Germany. I thought I could do a nice little haul this way because the only thing I had bought um, was the new Essence and Catrice stuff. And I was like, I've already shown everybody that. So I might as well show you this as part of my March haul. I'm still a little bit on a low buy. I am sort of very much spacing out my, uh, my makeup spending this year because my aim is to travel more and uh, shop a little bit less. But yeah, of course I did. I, I kind of went to Dusseldorf to go shopping. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, so this was planned as part of that budget, you could say. Um, but yeah, this way I have a bunch of things that were on the wish list um, that I can now try. Uh, I have some more things on the wish list as well but you're just gonna have to stay tuned for some more monthly hauls to be updated for that. So in the meantime, I hope you liked the thumbs up this video. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Subscribe if you wanna see more by me because I make four videos a week over on this channel. And if you do wanna stay in touch with what I've got going on on the daily and some other content that isn't makeup related, that I would like to recommend you click that link in the description box down below and follow me, follow me on my second channel, which is floating in books. So see you around somewhere, be that the blog, this channel or my other channel. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.